What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Vermont Scale Customs. How's everyone doing out there? So you're looking at an ECX Temper Gen 2. It's a 118 crawler. Um, I personally call it Compi, but it's like the most non-comp rig, comp looking rig you might be able to find. Um, it is by far the most underrated as far as I, at least out of everything that I've owned, I think it's probably the most underrated rock crawler on the market for the money. Um, I picked this thing up for 115 bucks in February of 2021, and I've messed around with it a little bit. Uh, but after I got the R1, I decided to kind of start looking at this thing to see if there's any sort of, you know, modifications that could be done to it that would kind of make it run a little bit better. And so I decided to pull the uh, original springs off the shocks and I decided to run some shorter coils on there. So uh, on top of that, I added Red Cat Gen 7 wheels and then I put some OT6 uh, XLR VEX compound tires. And those OT6s are actually really nice. They, they definitely kind of grab and hook up really easy on a lot of different rock surfaces. I really enjoyed running those in snow, uh, wet surface and, and dry rock. So those definitely get my vote. Um, and they're actually really affordable too. They're not going to break the bank for 120 bucks just to put a set of, you know, incredibly expensive compound tires on your crawlers. So, um, this has a four piece brushed aluminum chassis, uh, and the metal bars up on top are actually, uh, frame links from the G-Made R1. I upgraded to high clearance links and decided to see if there's any way the original uh, links would work as bars up on the top of this. So I, over the weekend or this last week, I kind of tore this thing down and just made sure it was running really well and decided to take all the plastic, the hood and the interior and the roof and stuff like that off and sort of make it kind of look a little bit more like a comp crawler without actually being anywhere close to what a comp crawler technically is. So don't kill me in the comments over that one. Um, however, I do want to say that kind of one of the things that inspired me to push it to this level was seeing a couple of guys on YouTube have actually put 110 frame lengths and nine inch axles on these in various forms and have basically turned it into more of a comp like crawler. Um, however, I still kind of think it lacks that proper geometry for the for the good ground clearance uh, in the middle. So the way I took it was the complete opposite route. I decided to make this a belly dragger itself. And so I took the original long springs off the shocks and I put some short springs on there. You can see they actually kind of gap out a little. Uh, but what that does is it allows that axle to completely compress, or the shock to completely compress, and it gives the axle the ability to really kind of float around like it needs to in order to be able to make it up and over stuff easier so um, with it running in like full spring mode uh, it certainly made it handle considerably different than what it's doing right now so um, I don't know if I've mentioned already but it's got the stock 380 motor in it running a 20 amp ESC and radio combo that's all factory nothing's been upgraded there either maybe I'll eventually throw another ESC and motor in it so excuse me ESC and radio combo um, and maybe eventually a motor but as it sits, you know, I have no plans to throw any more money into this. This was a set of wheels and tires that I had sitting around, and the crawler really is, that's 100% stock parts, um, right down to the servo and everything that's on it. I think maybe the servo horn that's sitting on it actually came with it when I bought it. Um, these retail new, I think, for 159 They come out of uh, Horizon Hobby, and I think they're made by Spectrum. At least uh, Spectrum is like something that was on the side, so I'm not sure Spectrum has anything to do with the radio system that's in it or not. Uh, with the but needless to say, the thing's got a ton of wheel speed if you crank up the, uh, the throttle trim on it. I run that at about halfway just so it doesn't get too unruly, and it gives it enough to be able to get out of strange situations like that. Um, and so, you know, I, I just really kind of wanted to prove that I think this thing is a very underrated, affordable crawler option. If you're looking for some cheap thrills out there and you want something that's kind of kind of blow your mind you know, with with what it can do for how much you end up putting into it I can't I can't recommend any other crawler that I have enough uh, if you're looking for that kind of answer for you know your bang for your buck sort of thing um, so I took this out last night after doing a couple days with the modifications and I wanted to get some some more recent current video of it so I could share it with you guys and I think I ended up capturing you know a pretty good idea of what it actually really is capable of so 
Um, what else could I say about it here? Uh, oh, it gets bound up a little bit here in a bit. So this is a pretty good example coming up of how, you know, how much torque this thing actually has. I mean, you could probably spin the wheels right off of this thing if you really laid on it in full throttle. Uh, but thankfully, that's kind of why I have it dialed down. So, you know, kind of a little bit less force applied, you know, on an instant. So and if you keep keep torquing away on it like that, you'll, uh, you'll definitely end up breaking something in the rear end. But uh, yeah, like I say, it's mostly stock. I've done just a little bit of stuff to it, pulled all the plastic parts off of it, um, with the exception of the servo tray in the back, and of course the you know the, the motor tray in the middle. Um, back to the thing about some guys running this in, in 110, putting 110 frame links on it and stuff like that, and 110 size axles. Uh, I'm not 100% sure it really has that kind of geometry about it. It does kind of in some ways, just the lines that it has sort of resemble the Bully 2 from RC 4-wheel drive, but that is a beast in and of itself, um, and it is no way in the same class as what this is, or, or how should I say, this is nowhere in the same class as what that is, and I'm not really sure how much money it would take to even get something like this up to that point. So really kind of like the point of what I'm saying is that for what it is fresh out of the box by doing a couple of different things like I did, I took the oil out of the shocks and I, I put different springs on them to run it in about three quarter droop mode. Um, and this is what it's capable of doing. You know, it's just wheels and tires added to it. So, you know, I think it's a pretty good example of what's out there for the money without having to sink a ton of cash into something to uh to get some really good solid performance out of it would i take this and compete with it absolutely not. um you know if i put a couple hundred dollars more into it or three to four or five hundred more i mean at that point you may as well look into purchasing a comp crawler so um i just wanted to do a couple more lines in the flower bed here just to kind of show you you know it can get sort of belly hung in some spots uh, but a little bit of wheel speed always helps so this line actually is kind of somewhat impressive even though it doesn't make it on the first try around it gets hung up right in the front so being a low drag low, low cg belly dragger that actually kind of completely worked against it it's kind of worked you know worked itself right into the front of that but then as long as you put the chassis in between a gap like this um, it should pretty much walk right over everything so it's proven to me without a doubt that it's a contender in my collection. It's probably one of my top three or four, you know, most capables that I have. And, uh, you know, little climbs like this kind of prove, you know, prove it's worth to me. So I wanted to get some decent video to share with you guys. Um, you know, but once again, I think the big point is if you're, if you're looking for uh, something new, keep in mind that some of the, the lesser expensive options out there uh, are not to be overlooked. You know, there are some good values out there in the, in the world of rock crawlers, and I think this is one of them. So thank you very much for watching. Obviously, I'm still producing videos, so uh, stick around. Hit that like. That's ever so important. It really does help the algorithm tell the, the, the world that this video is worth watching. Um, I will see you on the next one, and take care out there. Have yourself a good one. Thank <laughs> you.